Tom Danger, Danger Vision. Updated version of, I'll show you how to do this, son. I'm wolfing right now. I was actually off of work for a few days. So I um, didn't shave or cut my hair. You know, getting older. See the hairlines receding. It's not coming back. So I like to keep my hair shaved closely. I don't um, shave it totally bald. I mean, that's a preference for some guys. I just don't like it like shiny looking. So what we're going to do today is we're going to show you real quick how to shape up your beard and shave your head closely. Um, first thing we're going to use is an oyster clipper. The first step that I always like to do is oil the clippers. Um, this is actually a retro version that's been re-released, all metal joint. So um, I always start first by brushing the hairs down on my skin to get everything in a nice even direction. Um, I'm going to use it on the highest setting, which basically means I'm not going to take it to the closest. Some people say when you have it on zero is the closest, but I have this all the way open. And I'm just going to go with the hair going down. to get it even. See the hairline is receding, it's not coming back, so I like to keep my hair shaved closely. I don't um, shave it totally bald. I mean, that's a preference for some guys. I just don't like it like shiny looking. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna, and another benefit of brushing your hair on your face is, you know, it keeps your skin and the hair is moving underneath so that you don't get ingrown hairs. And also, I got a nice little um, moisturizer, aloe, from the body shop, which I, I use daily, sometimes twice a day, to keep my skin nice and soft because I do get um, hair bumps easily, razor bumps, excuse me. So that's it on that clipper. Um, excuse me. After each use, I always spray it with the uh, cooling. It's a three in one, or well, five in one actually. You know about that. Um, next, we're gonna bring it down on top. And this is basically a tea trimmer. It's part of the set, another retro version. I use this. This shaves close, but it's not like a balding clipper. And a balding clipper is a little bit different. And with this one, I'm basically shaving against the grain to get as close as possible, but not bald. And I usually do this well, shaving my head, I try not to do it that much. I do it like once a week. Oh. Pardon the shot, I'm not sure if you can see me clearly, but this is a good bathroom mirror so I can see sides and the uh, back of my head easily. And as you can see, this is fairly simple. It's something that you can do as many days as you want throughout the week to keep yourself looking fresh without having to go to the barbershop. I mean, if you like going to the barbershop and getting yourself pampered, so be it. I stopped going to the barbershop many, many years ago. When you shave the back end, I know some people when they do it themselves, you have to make sure you go all the way down in your neck, get the hairs off your neck, so you don't be looking all crazy. Take your time to go around your ears. Um, 
I've always taken a lot of pride in shaving. I, I found it to be growing up. A very challenging process, you know, especially with, you know, with my type of skin, it's easy to get razor bumps. So I had to look for techniques that would prevent me from getting razor bumps. Um, and I found that using these type of clippers, I don't get any bumps on my scalp. You know, some people, when you shave too closely and too much, you get bumps. Doing this, you don't get bumps. Um, few important simple steps is that you always have to keep your clippers clean. Keep your clippers clean before you use them, oil them, when you finish using them, spray with the cool lube. That's how I can tell if I'm gaining too much weight. If the back of my head got like a, a few like rolls in it, I ain't doing something right. Right now I'm pretty cool so let the stress over. You know, different guys use different techniques. I've heard of guys like when they get in the shower or when they shave, they just shave everything off with shaving cream and everything. But with my skin, I've noticed that when I use a regular razor that I use in my face, you know, the old fashioned kind, on my head I get razor bumps. And it doesn't matter if it's a uh, you know, any kind of brand, it doesn't matter, just shaving that closely on my skin. Just irritates me, so I try not to do it. Again, part of the shot if when I bring out the mirrors, it's not that clear. I need to make sure I don't jack up the back of my head. Again, shaving against the grain to make sure I can get as close as possible, but not shiny bald. And again, these clippers are not balding clippers, so. Plus, it's winter time right now, and, um, you know, to each his own. Like, a lot of guys have beards now because of popularity and, 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 and hip-hop, and, you know, mine is just more or less a, a cool look for the winter time, you know, just to have a different look, and then in the spring, switch it up. It's not like uh, guys have as many looks as females. We don't do the weaves and wigs and all that extra stuff, but you can do some things to facial hair. I can't do that much to the top of my head because of my hairline, and I don't care for Rogaine or nothing like that. So now we're going to have the fun part. The fun part is putting back my clippers, spraying it first. And now we're going to switch to a nice clipper. It's called a peanut. And it's a pretty sharp um, tea trimmer. And I use this one to line up my face. Um, the good thing about the tea trimmer is that, you know, it's, it's, it's a straight line. So you just start under your neck and you just start carving out how you want it to look. Real important too, make sure you get the hairs inside your ears if you're hairy. Small thing, but When it comes to like the, the chin part, it's a preference. Some people let it grow in. It's just easy for me to shape it up when it's out because I don't know, I don't like a lot of hair like around my lips, so. I think especially with, with you know, a beard, you should define your style. Like everybody's beard should look exactly the same.
So from here we've pretty much got the frame. Finish with these clippers. And now we're going to get into the detailing. And the detailing is basically going to be I always lay a towel in my sink to keep everything nice and clean as well. Detailing is basically going to be with a, a razor. Now, before I get started, a couple of shaving basics. Um, yes, you always want to moisten the skin first and loosen up um, the hairs in your face if we were doing a total clean shave. Um, your preference of what type of blade you want to use, I'm using just a generic whatever three blade uh, disposable razor I've tried every razor under the sun um, there are some that are better than others for whatever reason you know it all depends on your skin what's the weight of the razor what you like to use um, but I just recommend trying a bunch of different things until you find the one that you like the most so first I'm going to moisten my skin with some water Warm water. And now, instead of using shaving cream, I'm going to use a um, gentle exfoliator. So you're saying, Dange, why that? Um, because of the beard. Again, you want to make sure that you get all that dead skin that's underneath the hair off your face. And it has to be a gentle exfoliation because, you know, again, a hard exfoliation will basically take off a layer of your skin. And now, in lukewarm water, start to shape, shape everything in. Now you see it. Then to end it off, basically, warm rag. Wipe everything off. If you notice, in addition to the shave, the skin looks a lot brighter. That's from the exfoliating. I only recommend doing that once a week. Then when we're done, I have a aloe soothing cream that I got from um, the body shop. Put this on my skin. When you go to one of those stores, like you're gonna get the right moisturizer for your skin type. Because everyone's skin is different. Well, there you have it. Tom Danger, Danger Vision. I'll show you how to do this fun. With that being said, let's go into a video. Bye now.